the Seminoles who have never lost a conference game at home. Rich, Ralph Regan, who's got his Maryland Terrapins all fired up. Maryland won the toss, and that means Florida State is 0-7 on coin tosses this year. Bobby says, Dead Gummit, we can't win anything. And there's Bobby Bodden now tied for third all time in victories. One more, and he'll move past Glenn Pop Warner. And Profonzo Thorpe, the freshman, will drop back deep. As Florida State will get the football first. A surprising 7-0 Maryland team, ranked 12th in the country, their highest since 1985. Vidad Silkovic has got it teed up and set to kick away. Thorpe and P.K. Sam, a couple of true freshmen, are the guys that wait on the other end. Pretty windy out here today, but crystal clear, a perfect football day, the final weekend of October, and we're underway. And it'll be Thorpe from the three. Out across the 25, and gets out near the 29-yard line before he's run down. Jamal Cochran made the stop on special teams for Florida State to open things. Play action, Ricks comes up throwing, and that's the way to start. First down on the first toss, pick up a third. E.J. Henderson. And here's Florida State's first run of the day. And they get it out near midfield. Pick up of almost five. And it's going to bring up third down and a long two. Third down two. And the Knowles will work from the gun. Their opening drive at their own 49-yard line. Here comes that delayed blitz. Rick fires. Nobody home. Whaley's the guy that came with the delayed pressure. And whatever. Second down and four now. Just inside the 44. Hill straight drop. Got a man in the flat and Perry wide open. And he's got a first down across midfield. Like the offense. I like the call. The play. Illegal movement. Just there was no play. Three wide outs. A straight drop, but it's Perry again. He's got blockers in front with a quick screen and out of the 45-yard line. So he got the penalty plus four back at the Seminoles 45. Hill got some pressure and got hammered from behind as he let go of the ball. That's something Florida State hasn't been able to bring because that guy's been hurt. Yes. Now he's back with Adrian McPherson this week. Didn't bother his preparation at all. Here's a toss. He'll try to run. Nick Maddox trying to cut back, looking for a block. Needs one more and got it. Now he's going the other way. And Maddox got the corner. How about that one? That thing looked like a five-yard loss. It became a 21-yard game. That's good stuff. <laughs> Play action. Ricks now, plenty of time. Steps up and airs it long for Walker. Oh, that's interference. Oh, fighting. Randall Jones back there with Javon Walker. And the flags fly the stadium. With Florida State now in Maryland territory for the first time at the 44. And Maddox cuts out inside the 40 to the 39. Give Nick five more. 6-14 left first quarter here. Let's see. Two. Physically, uh -huh. that is. Ricks lofts one out. Tight end. Down the sideline is Carver Donaldson. And he's got a first down. Pick up of 11. He has not gotten in many games this early in the contest. Here they come. They load it up to bring the heat. And he isn't going to get away. Yep. You knew Maryland was smelling that. Yep. And they come up with a sack. Mike Whaley. Probably just like Maryland. Third down at seven here for the Maryland quarterback. Sean Hill. He's missed his last three passes. He might not get a chance for this one. He's going to have to run it. I think he got the first down. Well, he got past the 30-yard line. That's so all he needed. That's it. And they've got the freshman in there that works from a slot. And the option straight ahead is a fullback, and he's gone. There's the option. Lynch straight ahead. The big fella's going to rumble for a touchdown. 65 yards, a career high. And James Lynch was pulling all 261 pounds as fast as he could go. By the time they knew he had it, it was too late. Extra point by Kovac. Novak is good. And Maryland back in McPherson here in the shotgun on a third down and 11. They're loading up. Look at all the white shirts. Here they come. Screen pass thrown high. That could have been very dangerous. And in the meantime, Nick Maddox almost got his head taken off. He's going to throw. Got a man open, but he overshot it. So they run a 
a fake punt on fourth and 11. He had a man clear, but he overshot. Packs of pressure on the Knowles defense because Maryland's in their territory with a second and nine, and they come with a blitz. Jennings and Bolwer were both coming, and Hill got the pass off complete. That's just a great play there. Julian Gary might be a little. He's a good one. Third down in a yard, tight end to a move, and a setup. In a two tight end formation, and Hill, this is a keeper all the way for him, and the quarterback's into the secondary, and he's got a first down down near the 11 yard line. Abdul Howard ran him out of bounds. Emmanuel was helped off the field. Looks like he's going to be okay. Florida State looking to come up with a big defensive stop here. Hill running out of time. Got rid of it. Completes it. Not in the end zone, and I don't know if it's a first down either. I said they had to get inside the one. Touchdown. Same play here or not? Nope. Option this time. Dangerous, but they get it to Riley and he scores. One yard touchdown by Mark Riley. And Maryland's in front 13 to nothing. Maryland's has been very impressive. And this is a with the touchdowns. Novak for the point after. Up and good. And maybe no longer is Maryland assisting, and the Maryland's the one I left out. Yeah. Here's Ricks back in at quarterback. Play action. Chris lofts one out. Javon Walker came down with it. I don't think he did he come back. Yes, he did else? at the 47. All right. Probably helps down though. First Ricks. big play of the day. Ricks was looking down though to see where whether it was complete or not. There's a oh, shot. Good throw. Good throw is right. Talman Gardner. Now that's more like it. The tendency for Chris Ricks in the end in the end zone last week on interceptions. Don't want to give it up here with a chance to score. Thinking about a safety blitz. Second and nine. Throws. Gardner. Touchdown. Talman Gardner on a slant. And the Knowles are on the board. Bathia in for the point after. And he's up and good with it. With four minutes and 45 status to oh, once boy. defeated status. Upset maybe. Saturday, huh? Yep. And intercepted. Michael Bowler, Florida State, touchdown. What a great individual play by Bowler. We saw him score a touchdown a couple of weeks ago on a Snatches that interception for the score. That's luck. Xavier Bathia to try to tie it up and does. Just like that. Feels to hear that again, doesn't it? Crowd is rocking the place on third and six. Hill throws out on the flat, and the defense has done it again. Bullwear and Tatum. Just a yard inside of Maryland territory. Here they come. Rick's in trouble, and down he goes. Tyrone Stewart from the secondary again. He's in now. I think 19 of them have come from either linebackers or guys in the secondary. Ricks steps up. Fires. Got a man out there. And it's Thorpe. And the freshman broke a tackle. He's got speed. Cadonzo Thorpe down the side. Inside the 20. And it's first and goal. Seminoles. They've been waiting for number one to make a big play like that. And he just did. He may be. Inside the 10. It's first and goal. Florida State. Ricks, the slant. Tolman Gardner, touchdown. His second of the day. And Chris Ricks is saying it had enough on it to get there. And Florida State has struck three times to take the lead. Bathia's extra point is perfect. Right where the shade meets the sun is where I thought that ball was. So they moved it out to the 39 yard line. First down, Maryland. Hill floats one. It's intercepted by Chris Hope. Hope down the sideline. The defensive secondary captain still going. He might score. Hope inside the five. It's a touchdown. Well, initially, the, the official, because I was watching him, the back judge on the side did. On the field is that the player was down. The player was down. We have Florida State's ball at the point of the interception. They made the right call. Well, the good part about it is the Ron Cherry's crew got together and they made the right call. He's right. 
Folks here obviously aren't going to be happy, but they don't get all the different looks that we do. And you can see his right knee is coming down, or rather left knee, right? Offense, and they use it. Tallman Gardner trots out there to the top of the screen. He's got the two touchdown catches today. Ricks wants to come back the other way, waits, and finally throws late, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Karome Cox, and he's dragged down by B.J. Ward, one of the yep. extra receivers. Lynn, they don't believe it. it. They don't believe it. They are not buying it. They'll give him a crack at it. There's the kick. And it wasn't too short. It wasn't too short. Not a right. bad attempt. So the hat. Wait a minute. Penalty marker down. With the freshman number 22. That's probably the hardest he's going to hit all day. <laughs> Second down at six. At the 37. Bill with a nice play fake. Rolls and throws and throws a strike. First down, got it out to Scooter Monroe. Nice play. Down at 10 for Maryland. Opening drive, third quarter. Here comes a blitz out hill. Going to lay it out long. He's got Williams out there, and he made the catch. Huge play. Jafar Williams just outfought the corner, and it's a big play down inside. Make the play. Ninth play of the Maryland drive to open quarter number three. Second down and six. Hill, long stretch, handoff, Perry. Broke a tackle, he'll score! Touchdown, Maryland! This is the most points they've ever scored against Florida State. The previous best they could do was 21. The dominance in this ballgame. No back point after is good. 11 holes. As Bob said, it's been a wait for them to get their hands on the football. And Ricks play action on first down. Gonna go deep. Got a man out there, and he's got him! And it's Tillman Gardner again. 21 to the 21. What a day this kid. Bunch of blitz right here. Quarterback keeper on the draw. Right on the screen. Yep. There was too many guys lined up over there. And uh, you just, just from being a quarterback. He's eight out of nine on the year. And he'll try a 31-yard kick to try to tie this thing up. Spots there. Kick is good, too. And we got a tie football game. Eight minutes and 51 seconds. Ball and move down the field. Maryland got a touchdown. Florida State almost got one, got three points. Here's a very short kick and fumbled at the 13. Ball's loose. Florida State's got it. There's a guy that's been playing great special teams all day long. Jones in. Bell is the lone wide receiver out there on the left wing. Greg Jones, one stiff arm, cuts inside, touchdown! Good looking run, touchdown Jones. So the fumble recovery on the kick turns into six. From Tampa for the point after. Up and good. Pretty <laughs> Maryland seven out of 11 in their third down conversions. Third and six here. Hill with time. And he's completed it out for a first down at the 47 yard line. Straight drop by Hill. Wants to throw a screen and does to Perry with blockers in front. Perry, nice cut back now in the open Gone. field. Down the sideline, one man to beat. He'll get knocked out. Chris Hope saved the touchdown right there. They've had several screens. Maryland trying to tie things up here in the third quarter. On the option, Perry again on the pitch. Broke a tackle. Perry, first and goal, Maryland. He's special. He, uh, he did. Coach, you know, he's on almost, they say he's honest to a fault sometimes. Second and goal at the two. Here's the option. It's Hill. It's a touchdown. Sean Hill takes it in himself. And we're an extra point away from another tie. Seems the you know, rushing touchdown of the year for Hill. And Nick Novak, an all-important point after coming up. And it's good. A minute and 53 seconds. Tough here where it's been tough for everybody to win. Here comes a blitz on Ricks. Chris Spires, and he's got a man. Guess who? Tallman Gardner inside the 40. 15-yard pass play, and as you for Florida State today, third down of the yard. On the ground they go, and McCray got the first. The dependable fullback. First downs per game. So now it's down to the 28 of Maryland. Play action for Ricks. Might want it all. Going to the end zone to Gardner. Got him! Touchdown! Ha, ha, ha. 
That's three. That's three. Going after. Right down the middle. 38-31, Florida State. Perry, the tail behind Lynch, and the crowd getting loud. Now Lynch had to turn around and say something to him. Perry fumbled. Loose ball. Florida State scoops it up. Rufus Brown's got it. Rufus Brown with a fumble recovery. That's the fourth turnover for Maryland today. There's a flag at these. They've worked it inside the Maryland 25. To the end zone. Javon Walker touchdown. Just threw a jump ball and he went up and made the play. Javon Walker gets into the act. Swat and Walt need a hold. There's what's called getting a big extra point. From the world's largest cocktail party. We may not have an undefeated team left at the end of the year. <laughs> you might be right, partner. Here's the option pitch. And it is to the freshman, Parson. And he got to about the for the Terrapins in Maryland. Third down along six from their own 48 yard line. Got a man in the flat. That's where he goes to Perry. Can he beat the defenders? Uh -huh. Too many. Too many out there. And Garnet and Gold. Brown is there first and then Jeff. <laughs> and Bobby has dodged that question with the media, you know, for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Ricks. He's going on top. Scott Bell out there. This time he made the catch. Maybe that'll get Achus off the snide. Won 10 games, 14 years in a row. Third down and five here. They will throw. And they're going to lob it over there on a fade. And this one's caught, and it's Bell, and it's a touchdown. How about that? Confidence catch number one. Beautiful catch number two. Florida State now is just seven minutes away. For making one more team. Extra point to try to make it 52 31 is good. Bobby thinks he can win the ACC conference if he doesn't lose another game. Thinks he'll be the highest rated team in the ACC if that happens. John Hill's got to get rid of this thing. And it's a good thing he was out of the pocket. And finish 10 and 1. Uh, that would be a great year, first year for, for them. Maddox found a hole again and gets inside the 40 to the 38. I think Friedgen will take that approach and he'll go back and they'll learn from this and uh, they'll be a tough ball club the rest of the way. McCray, the fullback, is trying to use the clock. And Florida State still is going to be perfect at home. Unbeaten ranks, as a couple other teams have already done today. And more may follow. Hill pumps and looks and comes complete. And that one ends the ball game.